Okay, now for part two, the question two. We have to simplify this, right? So what we have to do is basically break it up into chunks. Break it up into smaller chunks. So that will be minus 3 into minus 3. Let me write it all in expanded form. In times, overall times, minus 5 into minus 5 by 12 times 12, right? And then simplifying this will be 9 times 25 over 144. And that's equal to 3 over 2. And you can chuck this into a calculator as I'm doing. 9 times 25 over 1, 144. Sorry. And then that will give you 25 over 16. So moving back. Wait, sorry. It's not 3 over, it's 25 over 16. Mistake. So anyway, that's the answer. Now, for part 2, for that one, what you need to do is the exact same process. Now, you know that minus 2, when you multiply 3 times, it will be minus 8. So you can write it here. Let's write it here, minus 8. And when you multiply 5, when you multiply 5 3 times, you'll get 125. So now we know it's minus 8 over 125 divided by this one. That's minus 3. And then basically, because it's 4 times, you're, it's going to be a positive. So once uh, 